The figure shows the circular cross section of a concrete water pipe. The inside radius of the pipe is r feet and the outside radius of the pipe is t feet. What is the value of r? So we're looking for the numerical value of r. Statement number one tells us the ratio of t minus r to r is 0 0.15 and t minus r is equal to 0 0.3. All right, so slow down here. The ratio of t minus r to r is 0.15 and t minus r equals 0.3. So what we have here are two equations for two unknowns. When you have two equations for two unknowns, that means we are able to solve. And very important to remember on data sufficiency, you're not actually being asked to perform the calculation and actually solve. All you're being asked is the question, could you solve? And the answer is yes, we could solve here. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget statement number one, moving on to statement number two. Here we're told that the area of the concrete in the cross section is 1.29 pi square feet. And so we wanna know this area in geometry that is something known as an annulus, that is a ring formed by a big circle minus a small circle. And that's actually the way we figure it out, the area is the area of the big circle, pi r squared, minus the area of the small circle. And in this particular case, that big circle is t. So we get pi t squared minus pi r squared equals 1.29 pi. Well, right now, what we have is one equation for two unknowns. When you have one equation for two unknowns, in general, you are not able to solve that. And so this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number one, sufficient. Statement number two, insufficient. Answer choice A.